G'day, how you going? Job here today. Spend two days on this. Butterfly steps. This is an old Queenslander. I'm gonna paint them up, make them look nice. This house would probably be around the 100 year old. The old steps have been all rotten with white ants and stuff, so they've been replaced. You can see it's white ants because here's the stringers. There's your white ant there. Got your mud. All the damage has happened. That's it. Now it's all hardwood. So we look here. The builder has um, primed all the ends. So we've primed up underneath. So that's one of the most important things if you come across a set of steps that someone's built and they haven't primed underneath these areas here. Uh, it's going to always have a stain, a tannin stain that comes through and there's really nothing you can do about it. Um, you could paint it in darker colours, but when it rains or anything, or dew or whatever, you're still going to have that stain come through. So hopefully it's all good. Uh, normally you would use an oil-based undercoat on these back edges and seams. So let's hope that all that's there. Looks like it's a water-based. Yeah, so whether it's going to stop the tannin stain, I'm not sure. Here, that they've used to build it with, so I'll be putting a rear two-pack bog on them, uh, just to clean that up. I'll be painting the, t the backs of these steps here. I won't be painting underneath because wood needs to breathe. I won't be gapping any of this either, but I will be gapping this area here to stop any moisture getting in so the water comes and runs down here. Um, underneath here, we will be just painting those timbers there, but we won't be painting underneath because once again we need the timbers to breathe. Now you've got to remember timber is alive even though it's, it seems to be dead and cut. You've got to treat it as if it's still alive. That's what I've got to do. Now how I'm going to do it is we've got uh, three colours I think they've got to go on here. You've got a handrail colour. We have the wall colour that'll go down on the stringers and these balustrate in here will be the same as the lattice work. There'll be a white so I'll bring the white down here. You could probably even bring the wall colour in but we'll bring the white down there. Gloss up on the handrails which this colour here will be the gutter colour is always your handrail colour so that'll be this colour here now you'll notice what they've done here they haven't just cut them off straight they've actually got them at an angle so you can see one's a bit hard to tell but you see that's actually raised a bit there a few mil so when water hits it it will run off and we better get started on here all these will need to be puttied after we put a coat of paint on we'll have to gap them gap that section there most of this will be done by hand put a first coat on we'll use a low sheen weather shield for our first coat then we'll give that a sand now the steps are only going to be a green yeah that's what i've got to do i'm going to take one day preparing it and another day painting it put our first coat weather shield on we use a low sheen um, that can be we can then see all the holes and gaps and stuff and then we fill it and fix it we give it a sand just a light sandpaper with 180 sandpaper or 120 sandpaper to get all the furriness off we'll then gap it all cork it all Hopefully we can get that done today. We use our two-pack bog in the areas and then we'll start putting our finished coats on. We'll need to put another two finished coats on after my next coat. So there'll be three coats got to go on here. Probably do these ones with the gun. Do the first one by hand. I'll see how I feel. There's a fair bit of it there. So you're looking at one meter, two meter, three meter, four, five, six, seven meters. Yeah, so it's probably just easier to pull the gun out. Drop sheets over all this here and with this very small tip, 211 tip, just ch -ch 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 go down and put a couple of coats on. That's after it's all prepared and has the first coat put on by hand. First coat, we're using weather shield in a lotion. And I'll use a little mini roller with this kind of sleeve. I like this one because you can pick it up and you're not gonna spill it. Then I'll pull the brush out and I'll hit the bits that I can't do. This will get 90% or actually 99% of everything I need to paint today. It doesn't matter what color we're going to do in the, for the first coat. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in this, 10%. That's just to let it flow a bit better. Basically call a primer coat. So this will stop the tannin stains coming through our top coats. This, you cannot cheat this first coat. So basically I've gone and done both edges. I'll show you on this section here. This, you cannot cheat this. Do not try and cheat this. Do not think that we can just, you know, we'll spray it all. We can spray it later. It goes through. Use your little mini roller. Get everywhere you can get. We do these edges first. This is the secret. So we're not going to worry about the runs at the back. We're going to get them afterwards. I'm going to come back and then we're going to do this back edge. We're going to move fairly fast and we're in a bit of a shady area. So we don't have to worry about it drying too much. Using a water-based weather shield low sheen. And the reason we're using this thing here is to fill all them fibers in. This timber 
is hardwood timber. And if you don't fill all those fibers in with a oil-based undercoat or a tenon stain stopper, you're in trouble. No matter what you do from then on, it's always gonna be bad. This is how I do it anyhow, so do not miss this step. Do not miss this step. So it's the same principle when you're painting a new house, a repaint, whatever. You need to get that first coat on by hand. When we do our second coat, we can use a gun. Interesting to find out in a garden. Looks pretty cool. Old piano. Now this is stage one finished. Um, I started here around the seven o'clock. I finished here. It is now just nearly ten o'clock so it's nearly three hours of work with my um, nook and cranny roller. I've taped up a bit up there, put some drop sheets down. So that's the first coat. So that's the first stage of this um, job and then our second stage is we use our putty then to putty anything oil-based putty Then we put the bog in these holes here. You can see they're very easy to see now So we'll fill them then we'll pull out a grinder So all those things there will be filled Then we'll pull out a grinder um, a four inch sander Then we'll give a lot of this uh, a sand over then we'll run some no more gaps around things or some corking so we'll cork a lot of this stuff here and that'll be stage two filling all the holes so there's two things we're going to need we're going to use special putty with oil based putty do not use water based stuff you need the linseed oil in on top of the nails to stop them rusting to stop that coming through that's our main purpose to use oil based putty do not use plaster do not use corner cement do not be tricked into using anything except a linseed oil based putty Okay, and we're going to use a builder's bog because the putty doesn't dry that quick. We're going to use a builder's bog in the bigger holes. This putty is for the nail holes only, and this is for the bigger holes. And there's our hardener. So that's our two things we're going to use. See, I've done all these ones here. Anything big that I can get a grinder on, that's the important part. I need to be able to get a grinder on it easy. You know, like here. If I can't get a grinder on it, probably won't do it. Like in these places here, I can't get a grinder in. So I won't use the two pack in it. And I can reshape this timber here. We can get a grinder in here. So we'll do these couple here too. Just, we can just get a grinder in here. This one is gonna have to be done by hand. So we'll do it nice and neat. Now this is basically the stages, so stage two we're doing now. Stage one is priming it all, stopping that tannin stain. And this is stage two, filling any cracks, defects. And we're just gonna do these nail holes, screw holes, sorry, they're not nails, they're screws. It's a very good builder, this one. So we're just going to fill them with a two pack. And just make sure that no water can get into that timber. So we push this putty in really hard and we use a knife to cut it off with. 